Hello, my name is Andy, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial today on localization. Now, localization is what Google calls translating your app, making sure that all the text is uh, in a language that the user can understand. Um, many devices are sold already translated uh, or with the language selected that uh, is current in their region, as would make sense. Now, in the United States, it's obviously set default to English, but you can change the language in the menus. Um, on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly change your text uh, to uh, something else and how to test it in the emulator to see every, uh, make sure everything is uh, on the up and up. So I have some text in my regular, um, it's just my name, my name is Andy, and uh, when I change the language of the device to Spanish, it's going to say me llamo Andres, which is my name is Andy in Spanish. Now I speak Spanish, so that's what I know. If I were to try to do it in another language I didn't know, I would probably pay for the services, which I'll show you how to sign up for that as well. So here we go. Here's I'm just going to show you how to change the, the language in the emulator. So here's to set a custom locale. Um, you have all the languages that are available. Uh, so the one that I have it translated, translated in is also Spanish. So I'm going to select it. You long press it. Hit it apply. Now when I open up the app again, you'll see me llamo Andres. And uh, it's very simple to do. All you do is in your project, if you're going to be doing the translating yourself, uh, create two separate uh, values um, f uh, folders depending on your language. So this uh, values right here's default is going to be English and then this values ES is actually Spanish. So you, ha you create two of the exact same XML files right here. So your strings um, and your the English one all I have is my string is Andy. My name is Andy. And in this XML you have it here. You re reference the same file name because in here you have the same name here, but you change the text so that depending on what language, um, <clears throat> what area your user is using it, it's going to change the the text that's shown. Um, and it's pretty easy to do. Uh, this is why it's important to use strings and not hard code your um, all your strings into the into the app because th this makes localization much easier. Now Google also wants you to use the services that they are uh, advertising to you. So if you want to use that, um, it's very easy to sign up for. Basically you go up, uh, here's your developer console under the APK tab. On the bottom it says sign up to try the service. When you click on that, you specify how many apps you want to translate, what languages you want it to translate it to. Um, you select your current language and you send your email and you'll get pricing uh, for several different uh, services that will translate your app for you. What they do um, is they take your strings file in your regular folder and they translate it for you and send you back the file with the new strings in it. Uh, I haven't tested it out um, probably because it costs a little bit more than any of the revenue that I've generated from any of my apps in the store. But uh, I'm probably going to be trying out the Spanish one in a little bit uh, as one of my apps has actually been downloaded in Spain. So I don't know, I guess to uh, increase my presence, I can translate it in Spanish since I know how to do that. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll probably test that out and see how it goes. Anyway, so this is a real quick way to how to localize your app or translate it into uh, native languages for your users and uh, you know sh uh, hit hit up the comment section below if you have any questions thank you